It's Jake Frankie back here in the yards at Denver and along two guys here that no, need no introduction to the club calf industry, Wade Rogers and Nick Ryman. And pleasure to get a chance to visit with you guys this afternoon. And we're standing by Blaze of Glory, bull that both these guys have on display here, and then I-90 right there in the back. And guys, pleasure to talk to you. If you don't mind, tell them a little bit about this Blaze of Glory bull here. Yeah, we're really glad to get the opportunity to talk here. Uh, Blaze of Glory is a, a baldy walks alone son that uh, Blaine Rogers purchased as a calf. Um, I bought partial interest with uh, Travis Shanks, Chris Rosen, Nolan Ferguson. A uh, little different for a walks alone. He's really smooth shouldered, um, but still got that real good neck and square hip and look to him. Um, we're, we're pretty high on this bull. Um, he's, he's sure nice, and there's been a lot, a lot of interest out here at Denver, and we're we we'll sure appreciate all the people that have been interested in him. Absolutely. Just turning the corner a few times today, that baldy face will sure stop yeah. some people. And then it'll, it'll bring them back. In. And he's yeah. powerful and square yeah. and massive and great old rib in him, too. Yep, yep. We got And we got several bulls uh, that I come out with. We, some of them broke with ringworm. We didn't get them, get them out here, but I'd sure sure like to. And we might bring some back as two-year-olds and maybe promote them that way. So Good deal. Yep. And then uh, I know you two guys have your bred heifer sale every December, and it seems like that the last one was a was a great hit, Nick. Do you mind telling the folks about what yeah. you guys are doing? Um, our bred heifer sale, it's always the second Saturday in December. Um, we really try to bring the very best ones we can. Uh, we sort through hundreds of cattle everywhere. We covers the country looking for females, and, and uh, I guess we, or I, we mainly I'll try to raise ours, but uh, it's just the very, very top end of, of all the bread heifers, and, and we're starting to sell a few bread cows now too. So absolutely, and it looks like and, you're not just like you said, you're not just selling the ones y'all don't want back at home. Y'all bring no. the best to town, yeah. and then the proven donors as well. Yeah. Try to try to bring some donors every year, and some of the very best bread heifers too. So. It seems like these guys' commitment to helping everybody else out and, and getting into the club calf business and customer service is top notch. And what about Nick? Uh, while we're on this sir, the the bull display here, tell us a little bit about I ninety. There's been a lot of people around him as well. Yep. Oh, well, I ninety. He's an I eighty. Uh, and uh, anyway. He's, he originated from a Leroy Beetlesbacher cow. I bought the Leroy Beetlesbacher cow herd a few years ago, and they've been really good for me. It's out of a really good cow from him. Uh, they actually showed that cow as a show heifer themselves. Um, that cow happens to be go back to a main cow, so he is registered 5 8 um, He's polled. Um, I just I think he's got a tremendous amount of value to him. Absolutely. Looking at him, the same thing, just incredibly stout and square and a nice look to him and still like both these two bulls, really conservative birth weight, not all the hard calving that sometimes we can see. Yep, definitely. You know? Guys, what about uh, going forward? When are we sending them to the studs? When can we be expecting to see some semen on these? Well, sometime in February, we'll try and get them there. Nick, you'll probably take yours to Mitchell. Yeah, yeah. Mitchell. I, I take most of mine to Hawkeye. Okay, so, good. And, and neither one of us, we're, we've been so busy with the bread heifer sale <laughs> and getting pictures, and we're a little unorganized. Oh, I bet it'll turn <laughs> that out comes right. comes with the territory around and both our places a little bit. <laughs> sure, sure. When but, you're successful and you go yeah, at it the way you guys yeah. do, we, that's understandable. But we're going to try it. We'll probably both try and get a list there in February if people want to call either one of us. And, and we'll just go from there. We'll get them there, make sure their semen's good, Great. all that good stuff, Great. and then we'll... Well, to, and, and Wade, to touch on the walks alone, we see a lot of walks alone influence around. I'd say he's a little bit popular. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. And then the and even <laughs> yeah. in the Slickshire market yeah. down south, these yeah. worked really well. He, he puts a good square hip on them and really nice fronted. I mean, he's got some things you'd want to change, but heck, they all do. So, sure. Yeah. And, Nick, you, you and I were talking earlier, you've got quite a few fat steers coming up for the stock show this week, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I try to bring a few every year. So. I understand. Yeah. Good. And you guys are going to be doing some fallborn sales this spring yeah some probably more private fall yeah. born deals this just spring, get in touch so. with either one of you guys for that we're working we're going to try and have a bull sale me and him together if we can get it put together here within the next month just some really good 
commercial kick out, main influence, Angus influence, yeah, semi influence. More maternal. Yeah, they're they're full. maternal. I good. Mean, they'll be make some good females and well, I know. Try and get that put together. Down south, that'll sure be helpful. Yeah. As many cows as we had to send to town yeah. and slaughter, well, hopefully you trying guys to build back the herd. Back up, and we're trying yeah. to. <laughs> good Lord, let, yeah. let it rain down there. We sure will. Yeah. Well, guys, I know you two guys are busy and you got a lot of guys to talk to, but we appreciate taking time yeah. and telling us about Blaze of Glory and I-90 and yep. the first class bred heifer sale. So thank you Thanks very much. For the opportunity. Absolutely. Well, before we leave, Wade, I know there's been a lot of interest in this in this banner over here with all these bulls in it and, and cattle. If you don't mind, tell them a little bit about yeah, it the was, story behind this. Yeah, it was this. pretty interesting. The, uh, Chris, he takes all my photography pictures and does just a extraordinary job he's he's very very talented okay. the most talented that i know of that that does it but he had he come up with the idea and he wanted to get them all turned out there and you can see they got a little manure on their side and stuff we turned them out there and they was bucking and snorting and <laughs> yeah. raising Being cane out there yeah yeah and it was it just it was just a real neat idea and it kind of come together we had them cleaned up and fresh clip for pictures and yeah, it's, it was pretty neat. Absolutely, and it looks like just what we see in the club calf world, a little bit of everything, yeah, breed yeah. type wise, exactly. and, and they're yeah. all built the right way. Yeah, I tried to do that a little bit this year, just get a little more color influence sure. for some of the southern guys. We didn't get to bring them, but hopefully people can get by the stud and look at them, because sure. I think they're every bit as... And probably be up on your website. Yes, yeah, good. they're every bit as nice as the ones we brought for sure, so I, hopefully people can get a get a good look at them at the stud and they're working close. I know so. personally, I'll be looking forward to seeing yeah, them. That color is popular. Yeah, it is. So. Yep, you bet. Well, Wade, thank you again. Yep, we appreciate you. it. Yep.